and today I'm going to be doing the super requested freshman dorm tour because ever since I moved in here all the way in like August or September this has been like my most requested video ever and I'm currently halfway through my second semester so I figured that I would film it before the year is over but I also wanted to help out any sort of prospective students that are thinking about going to Chapman and are wondering what it's like to live in the dorms there so if you wanted to know what kind of setup that I'm in I live in a triple that is split with another triple and we share a bathroom so it's three girls on other side and we all share a bathroom but I actually only have one roommate because my first roommate moved out halfway through the first semester so that explains why there is a free bed and a free desk and a lot more space in the closet but otherwise there were three people living in here and most people in this hall live with three people if you guys would like to see my dorm supplies haul that I did all the way when I moved in I'll be sure to link that below and if you guys would like to see me and my roommate do the roommate tag please be sure to give this video a thumbs up because she said she would do it and I'm going to hold her to that I'm just gonna kind of like pan around the room so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on before I go more in depth. So here's our door, here's the back of it. It's really nice. To the right is a Texas flag because that is where my roommate Mary Frances is from and that banner was made by our other roommate and they are so cute. Moving on from there, we have the door to the bathroom which I will get back to in a minute, but that is the door to the bathroom. And then this is Mary Frances' bed and in the back you can see the door to our closet as well as our fridge and our microwave and printer. Here's our window, underneath that is the AC unit and then here is my bed over in this corner and then if you move down a little bit you can see our little pod of three desks two of which are me and my roommates and the other one is just an open desk that we use for just pretty much anything whenever we need another desk looking at it from the other side of the desk pod you can see that we have our open bed over here as well as the door and the flag that I showed you earlier now that you have a pretty good overview of what the room looks like I'm going to show you what our shared bathroom looks like so as you can see our bathroom has two sinks the one on the left is for our suite mates and the one on the right I share with my roommate there's also a little built and cubicle thing which some of us use for storage in the middle and then we also have all of our dish cleaning things on the counter so to the left of the door you can see these two openings that have shower curtains on them that is a bathroom on the right and a shower on the left we bought these curtains so that both of them can be used at the same time but when we originally moved in there weren't any curtains we had to put them in ourselves so next to show you guys our closet it is over here and we just have a mirror hanging on it we pretty much just split that one side between the two of us there's also like a third of our closet which is just empty because we don't really need that extra space but it just sort of exists there and then if you can see with this super weird angle I store all of my shoes under my clothes just outside of the closet is where we have our fridge and microwave which were actually attached and we got that when we moved in we also have a printer on top of it which we brought here and on top of the printer of course we have our most prized possession no one really knows the origins of this framed photo but I think that really really is what makes it so special and there's some printer ink on the right which I don't know how to put in my printer yet but that's another story on our windowsill each of us have a little object there Mary Frances has a little Texas and I have a little metal ampersand and to the right of that is where we have our third dresser which is the one that I use and that has all of my clothes in it. I pretty much just use it as an end table and I keep all of my things on it. Down in the void behind my dresser I have a lot of art supplies that are very large and they kind of have nowhere else to go. I have a portfolio full of things, a cutting mat, a light board, and my t-square as well as a ton of printer paper. On the corner of my bed I have some baseball caps because that's just like a really nice place to store them. Speaking of storage underneath my bed I actually have a lot of various storage items. On the right I pretty much have all of my large things like paper towels, tissue boxes, and anything that needs to be in like a large storage container. And then in the middle, I just have kind of like random toiletries and medicine. The open storage box on the left, I have full of food. And I also use the suede storage cube for storing food because it's just kind of like perfect and really easily accessible. It also doubles as a step stool, which can be kind of necessary if your bed is lofted. So here's what my little corner of the room looks like. As I said, my little banner was made for me. And then on the wall, I just have three record covers that I hung up as well as a little corkboard square, which I got from Target and I just covered in photos. I went with very simple decor because I film at home and I just felt like it was kind of unnecessary to really decorate my space in here But I do really like how it turned out I'll be sure to leave all the details in the info box for where I got my bedding and pillows and all of that onto the desks Here's what mine looks like The desks also come with a set of three drawers, except for some reason mine only had two, so I used the bottom for storage for like hair care and brushes and all of that. I have a ton of pens and pencils on my desk, as well as a mirror. I usually have my makeup brushes over here, but they are not there at the moment. And then like I said, since I'm a graphic design major, I have a ton of art supplies everywhere and they don't all fit on my desk, so I have a decent amount on our extra desk as well. It's pretty much just a ton of colored pencils and markers, as well as plastic triangles and French curves. Other than that, we keep our extra desk completely empty. And then everything to the left is obviously my roommates, but I'm not going to go through it and then there's just our extra bed which we pretty much use as a couch and it has an extra duvet on it we also have some very nice string lights donated to us by our live-in roommate ella 
So that pretty much sums up our little dorm tour. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you seriously have any questions whatsoever about Chapman, about living in a dorm, about my major, really anything, I will be happy to answer you in the comments, so leave those down there. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the new video very soon. Bye guys.